Welcome to the Frederica Academy Coaches Show with Head Coach Brandon Derrick. Brought to you by Advanced Rehab, H&H Lifestyles, St. Simon Seafood, Urgent Med One, Golf Cart Wholesale, Parker's, Jessup Furniture Outlet, Yates Astro, and by Locos. Now here is your host, the voice of the Frederica Academy Knights, John Wetzler. Well, welcome to the Frederick Academy Coaches Show with head coach Brandon Derrick at the Bish- on the Bishop Media Sports Network. I'm John Wetzler on location at Locos again this week for the second week in a row. Locos Grill and Pub will, will continue to be each week this season, every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. Uh, this segment of the Brandon Derrick Coaches Show is sponsored by Locos Grill and Pub, where we are. Uh, Urgent Med One, Advanced Rehab, St. Simon Seafood, H&H Lifestyles, Golf Cart Wholesale, Parker's Convenience Store, Jessup Furniture, and Yates Astro. Uh, and now joining us on the head coach, I mean on the Brandon Derrick Coaches Show is head coach Brandon Derrick of the Frederica Academy Knights. Coach, how are you doing? Pretty good. Uh, it's been a pretty good day so far. Been a good week anyway. Well, Coach, uh, we just uh, got done playing our middle school game today against our uh, GHSA opponent and rival, Glen Academy. Um, I did not get a chance to get to the game. I know you were there for the majority of it. Uh, what, 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 what kind of thoughts do you have about that? They played hard. Uh, they lost 43 to 36. Lost by a touchdown, and they, uh, you know, we got 21 kids on the middle school going against another middle school that's got 45, so I thought our young kids played really hard, they gave everything they had, and they left it all on the field, they did a good job. Well, I'll tell you, you know, uh, when I think about the reason why it's important that we're competing against Glen Middle and, and Needwood and some of these other schools that are here as our neighbors, and yet we're in the GISA competing against uh, schools that don't have anywhere near the numbers and uh, the uh, amount of uh, participants that um, that we're facing in some of our middle school competition. You know, it's, it's really exciting to me when I think about the fact that, first of all, we've got 17 returning starters this year on the varsity that are many of, uh, many of whom are, are underclassmen. Yeah. And then we think about the number of freshmen we've got Patrick Brunson and Harry Beal and, and a number of other guys, uh, uh, you know, Michael Tindall, uh, some of these guys that are eating their Wheaties on a regular basis and coming to all the workouts yeah. from the time that they were in the sixth grade. Yep. Uh, my son Jackson, I know, has, has been there and, and been very excited about following you and following Coach Cannon and following... Uh, you know all of the coaching staff that is uh, invested in in these kids and, and and really kind of gotten their full attention more so than uh, I've been able to do as as my son's dad sometimes. So uh, well, you know, uh, I look at that class. It's, it's a special group. We're going to start six freshmen Friday night. Um, we, Michael Tindall's going to start. Harry Bill will start at linebacker. Cameron has been sick all week, so Cameron's or Harry's going to start in his spot, starting out a little bit. Um, of course, Gavin's going to be on the field. Jalen, Jay, Sean, Patrick's going to be on the field. There may be more than six freshmen. Um, but like you said, they've, they've, they've been the guys that's been there have been in the program. They've been investing. Uh, I feel very confident in them. This morning we practiced at six in the morning, uh, so that they could go and support middle school kids, and then come out here after this and not have a long night. Um, but. These guys have uh, they bought in. They've done a, they've done a great job offensively and defensively. I think last couple of days have been pretty spot on for us defensively. I know it's really really good. Well, this is the Frederica Academy Coaches Show with uh, head coach Brandon Derrick, and we are broadcasting on the Bishop Media Sports Network. Coach, uh, turning our attention to Friday night. We're, we're playing St. Andrews, an opponent that we're somewhat used to, and uh, did a pretty good job last year against. I know uh, we were all wondering what, what was going to happen because uh, Hollisville was having to kind of tote the load, if you will, 
uh, with with some injuries that we sustained preseason uh, with, with Robert Toombs in our preseason camp, and a lot of people had a lot of question marks that were answered very quickly against St. Andrews last year when we uh, did such a great job against them. But from what I understand, this year they're uh, going to be a lot better. Uh, yeah, St. Andrews is much improved uh, up front. Their offensive line looks looks to be really big. Um, they're running the double wing dive option, and uh, they look they look very solid at this point. Um, you know, we're not taking for granted it's responsibility football and defense, and we're going to continue to do what I say every week. We're going to exploit the edge. We're going to use our speed, and I know people think maybe we're not that fast. Well. We have the potential to be a big play offense every time we touch the ball, and, and right now we're going to continue to do that, get guys in space and let them make plays, and when the defense has to over, overcompensate for the guys in space, then we're going to you know, attack the middle of the field. Uh, and they did a good job with that Friday night, and uh, I feel like we went through, we've tweaked a few things, we looked at a few things, and people are cheating with linebackers or safeties and things like that. We've got quick reads and hot reads this week been implemented, so, you know, we do have a lot of freshmen, but uh, they're catching on quick and they're starting to understand what we're doing and the way we think and what we see. So right now I'm pretty confident our kids are going out and uh, taking care of business. They're excited. It's game one. There's going to be some mistakes. You know, I just hope the other team makes more than we do and uh, that we play hard. So far, I can't complain. You know, we had a long lightning delay last week in the scrimmage and they come out for two quarters and the kids put up 29 points in two quarters and we did have a phone we dropped a pass probably could have been a touchdown but had an opportunity and you know so we're gonna we're gonna play to our strengths on offense was big play capability and defense we're gonna fly into the football well i remember last year from up in the press box doing the radio uh <clears throat> that in the first quarter i remember in particular st andrews had two or three you know missed opportunities that very easily Right. Could have been touchdowns. They were they were competitive for the first half of the football game, yeah. and uh, and now they've got a lot more talent this year, and they've got a coach who I know you respect very much, and and everybody in the coaching community has a great deal of respect for uh, just based upon his uh, experience, and and he's done a great job at the different places he's been, and he's built a program out there at uh, St. Andrews that is uh, it's great. It's just you know it's always good as far as I'm concerned to have good competition. Right, and you know, I, I want us to go out and compete with high-quality high competition every week to make us better in the season, to get us prepared, you know, to get into the playoffs. Um, you know, these first six games, they don't really, they count, but they don't really count. You want to get ready for the region, and if you can win out the region, you can get in the playoffs with one seed. Our goal is to get better every week, um, fix, fix what we did wrong last week, and continue to get better. Well, uh, yeah, you mentioned earlier when we were just talking about, you, you talked a little bit about what happened last Friday night. We had sort of a jamboree uh, game where we had our, we hosted an out-of-state opponent who uh, had some good talent. And, and uh, first quarter we had our, our freshman guys and some of our other, some of our reinforcements start off the, start off the quarter of the, uh, of the game there before we had a bunch of lightning come in and uh, what 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 did you see more than anything? What did you, what did you take away from last week's sort of test run uh, from from an offensive and a defensive perspective? But you know what? Before you answer that question, I just realized that we need to take a break because we are at the, that point. So if you don't mind, I'm going to put that question on hold, Coach, and we're going to. Um, Say there's more to come on the Brandon Derrick Coaches Show on the Bishop Media Sports Network right now from these words from our sponsor. It's time to get together with friends and family to enjoy great games, great food, and a great atmosphere at Locos on St. Simons Island. Locos has something for everyone with their classic sandwiches, fresh salads, and specialty burgers. And Locos award-winning wings from traditional boneless or slow-roasted means it's time to get your wings on. With football season starting, don't forget to catch the game at Locos 2. Be sure to like Locos on Facebook to keep up with the latest. Have your friends meet you at the Moose. Tired of waiting hours to get in and out of the ER or can't get in to see your doctor? 
The wait is over. Urgent Med One is a fully functioning urgent care clinic with highly trained professionals, on-site x-ray and labs that will get you in, out, and on with life. Open weekdays 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and weekends 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. or sign in online with Zip Pass. Located off exit 36B on Highway 341, look for that mass Jeep with the big red cross out front, E-R-G-E-N-T, Med 1. Drive a few minutes and save a few hours. That back won't stop aching or that knee won't stop throbbing? Your answer is Advanced Rehabilitation and their staff of professionals. Locations in Brunswick and on St. Simons for your convenience. Go to the place that is trusted by student athletes all over the Golden Isles as well as professional athletes. Advanced Rehabilitation specializes in neuro and orthopedics and will have you back in the game in no time. Find a clinic near you, physicaltherapygeorgia.com. H&H &H Lifestyles on St. Simons Island is proud to sponsor this broadcast of the Frederica Academy Knights 2015 football season. From first downs and touchdowns to kickoffs and playoffs, the H&H &H team will be cheering on the Frederica team. H&H &H Lifestyles, appliances, bedding, audio, video, electrical, and security. Located in Retreat Plaza on St. Simons Island. Go Knights! Fresh local seafood on St. Simons Island, St. Simons Seafood, located at 2463 Dimry Road in the shops at Dimry Plaza next to Locos, has everything a seafood lover could want. Wild Georgia shrimp, crab cakes, flounder, you name it, and St. Simons Seafood has it. Seafood so fresh, it was swimming this morning. So stop into St. Simons Seafood and check them out on Facebook. St. Simons Seafood, the island's only fresh seafood market. All right, well, welcome back to the Frederick Academy Coaches Show with Head Coach Brandon Dirk. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I am here with Head Coach Brandon Dirk on the Bishop Media Sports Network. I'm John Wessler on location at Loco's Grill and Pub here for the second week of the football season. How great is it that it's football season, by the way? <laughs> it's awesome. It's like, you know, you got to cope old football season with baseball and all these other things. Uh, this segment of the show is brought to you by Locos Grill and Pub, Urgent Med One, Advanced Rehab, H&H &H Lifestyles, and by St. Simon's Seafood. Coach, we uh, abbreviated the last question that I asked you about what you took away from our Jamboree game last week. Friday, which was interrupted by a very lengthy rain delay. Uh, what, what did you, what would you say you could distill uh, that you brought away pro and con from you know an offensive? This is a really big question, isn't it? But you know, from an offensive and defensive perspective, I get in trouble for that all the time in court. You know, Mr. Wessler, you need to ask a simple question. But you know, I think you you're smarter than a lot of judges, so. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what do you think that you can say you brought away pro and con from an offensive and defensive perspective? And I meant what I said about that, by the way. Well, um, I think the, the first quarter, our young kids did a really good job. Uh, we, we fumbled on one drive and we probably scored there in the first quarter. So I thought they, they executed really good. I think what we got from it was one – we got rid of the jitters a little bit. We feel a little bit more comfortable going into game one now. Um, I thought the thing that really stood out to me was how fast our defense was getting to the football at times Friday night and how quick and our new technique of tackling that we've been working on and doing. We made some really good open field tackles. We tackled well. Um, and we, we had guys, we didn't have one guy making the tackle. We had five or six guys getting to the ball every time. That's huge. Uh, you know, the first guy may miss. We, we hope he doesn't, but that's a big thing for us is we're swarming to the ball on defense. Offensively, I thought we, we executed when we needed to. We had a few, few boneheaded penalties, um, but we've talked about that. We've worked on that this week. Um, had one turnover, but I think what we've gathered from it is that uh, we looked at the film, a few things to, to fix up front, you know, offensively critique a little bit, just fine-tune what we're trying to do defensively, 
had to change it this week. It went to a more responsibility defense instead of our 3-3-5, three, three, which was a blitz package that we, we were able to use. So we really had to do, had to focus on responsibilities and taking away the option. If you don't take dive, quarterback, and pitch, option can beat you. So we worked on that last two or three days. The kids have done a great job with it. Um, I've been playing quarterback, both all my toes feel like they're broke, so they've been stepping on my feet. Um, so they've done a really good job. And I think right now, we just got to go out tomorrow and get ready and fine tune it and be ready to go. I think the kids are excited. I think the coaches staff excited. I think the football community at Frederick is excited. You know, we, we have the best fans in the county. I, I say that all the time, and I truly believe it. Well, now, we are going to be facing a different quarterback than we faced last year with St. Andrews. So, uh, I guess he's, he's more of an athlete that's prone to uh, give us a threat to run the football this year. Yeah, he's a, he's a bigger kid. They can run the ball. They throw it just enough to try to keep you honest, but they try to lull us to sleep. But I tell you what, we, we've, we've been going over it, and the guys know the responsibilities. Every time we tried to lull them to sleep this week in practice, they had a hand on it. I think I completed two passes the last three days. So it been pretty good in the secondary. Defensive line, linebackers done a really good job of containing the run. And, um, I think it's, uh, it's going to be an interesting game. I think if we hit them, and be very, very physical like we have been with everybody else. Um, that way we'll, we'll do what we need to do and we'll take care of business and our kids. It's one thing the coach from Hilton Head Prep told me at the end was, Coach, you guys are really physical. And I knew after two quarters he said something about going three and I looked over at him. I don't, I don't think he really wanted to go that third quarter, so I just called it for him because we were, we were getting after some folks. Well, you are listening to the Brandon Derrick Coaches Show on the Bishop Media Sports Network. You know, you talked about uh, making some adjustments um, on defense, you know, based, based upon your, your, your need to, you know, adjust every week really to the different kinds of looks you're going to get. You know, and, and there's a lot of guys here. Uh, there's a lot of guys here, and where we are here at Locos that are on the team. And, and uh, I remember, Coach, when I played football, that I I had a lot of. I was a, I was an offensive guy. I was a fullback, and I would have my friends that were on defense that would come up to me after after practice very often and say, you know, John, I can tell every time you're going to get the football because you do. You know, you take your left hand and you pull your left thigh pad and, and, and you get down in your three-point stance like you're ready to kill somebody. And I know every single time you do that, you're going to get the football. And they, and, you know, they actually helped me to, to know in a game situation what my tendencies were, you know. And uh, so what kind of tendencies uh, are you teaching your players here to look for, especially on defense, you know what I mean? Because... Uh, Defense is, is that, like you talked about last year so often, that read and that react kind of situation. And for a lot of you guys here on the team, you know, that's something you can do to help each other out is, is, is give each other intent. You know what I mean? What kind of things do you guys do to sort of to, to try to prepare each week with game film and, and even at practice to, uh, to, to prepare for those sort of tendencies that can be read? When we're watching film, the coaches, <laughs> it starts with me on Saturday morning. Um, I think Saturday morning I woke up at 9 o'clock and had seven messages from the assistant coaches already watching film that, that morning. Um, and they're like, listen, they're doing this, they're much better, da da da. So the, the coaches are telling me more sometimes than I'm telling them when we're watching film. They, they look at a lot of things, stance, hands. It's like you talk about what mannerisms do they have? Is one foot back further than the other if he's going one way or another? Um, you know, they, they look at that, but I'll, I'll give St. Andrews some credit. They're not really giving a lot of tendencies. We've not been able to see anything by stance or any of that. Um, we've been just looking at it by formation, motions, and, you know, it's responsibility football when we're playing the option. So right now, the tendencies is if we stuff the dive and hit the quarterback, we want to make them pitch the ball. Well, that does make sense, and uh, we're going to take one more break right here. Um, and we will be right back on the Frederick Academy Coaches Show with head coach Brandon Derrick on the Bishop Media Sports Network. Looking to make your life more fun? Then check out GCW Carts. With top-of-the-line carts like Easy Go, Bad Boy, and Cushman, you can cruise the island or just around the neighborhood in style. Need to rent a cart? GCW Rental rents carts for long or short-term use. 
and they make it easy by delivering your cart to you and picking it up when you're finished. So remember, for brands like Easy Go, Bad Boy, and Cushman, visit GCW Carts in Brunswick at the corner of Cypress Mill Road and the Spur, or call 912-434-4601. Great food, snacks, and the best selection of energy drinks in the Golden Isles? Parker's. A day outdoors? Coolers? Suntan oil? Beach chairs? Ice? Parker's. Fresh fruit cups, salads, and dipping Dots? Parker's. Get your Pump Perks card and start saving on every gallon of gas today at Parker's. www.parkersga.com, a proud supporter of Frederica Athletics. Parker's, and let's go Knights! Looking for top quality furniture at prices that blow away the competition? Jessup Furniture Outlet. Ashley, Universal, Bassett, Lexington, and so many more. Jessup Furniture offers delivery and 12-month interest-free financing located at 651 Scranton Road next to Old Times or give Jessup Furniture a call 912-267-1897. Also, find Jessup Furniture on Facebook. Jessup Furniture, your top quality furniture outlet that won't break your budget. Well, welcome yeah. back to the Frederick Academy Coaches Show. Um, with head coach Brandon Derrick on the Bishop Media Sports Network. I'm John Wessler on location at Loco's Grill and Pub for the second week. We will be here all season long on Wednesday nights at 7 o'clock. Um, and this segment is brought to you by Parker's, by Golf Cart Warehouse, I'm sorry, Golf Cart Wholesale. Wholesale. Um, Yates Astro, thank you, Coach. <laughs> Yates Astro, and by Jessup Furniture. Well, Coach, uh, turning our attention again to this week, um, you know, it, it, it's it's exciting for me. I know as a fan and as a uh, parent of a player, and um, just a lover of the game of football, and uh, just, it's it, it's exciting to see. The, the spirit that's kind of gelling this team together, and and, and, it, and it's particularly reassuring, I think, I'm sure for you and for the for the guys on the team, that you got a lot more reinforcements this year than uh, than we had last year. Yeah, we, we have yeah, um, you know, we got 31 kids out there, and they have they've been very solid. They push each other every day in practice, so. It, when, when the red team or our scout team is going against the ones, they are giving them everything they got. Uh, you know, they may get a little frustrated every now and then, but we, we, we're getting quality work on both sides of the ball. The kids are pushing each other, and they're making each other better. They work hard every day. Um, you know, it's we're going out there and we're competing in practice, and, and you're starting to see it on the game field. Um, and this group, this group really has a a unique side to them. They, they, they enjoy playing, they enjoy being around each other. Uh, it's a pretty tight group. Um, I've got to know it, notice it, and know it a lot in the locker room. Um, they're a pretty loose group now. They like to dance and do all kinds of stuff, carry on, and, and that's okay. Uh, you know, it's, I have to tell Coach Cannon sometimes, just at ease, but let, them, let them be teenagers. Let them, let them dance, stay loose, because if you we put them all in the locker and make them think about it. They're all going to get nervous a little bit. So right now we we got Coach Mathis that goes in there and dances with them, and they start getting loose and they have a good time beforehand. It's a it's a good environment. Kids are enjoying it, um, and, I, and I see that when they're out there playing that uh, they have each other's back. I, I call them the Dirty Thirty, and uh, this group right here they'll go down the alley with you, and uh, I've enjoyed it so far. They they battle hard. They they like to fight with each other every now and then. And, and then when we go play on Friday night, they get after it. I knew, I knew that on the Saturday night when I told you that 48 minutes at Robert Toombs when the intensity was turned up, this group right here was a little bit different than the other groups. Well, this is the Frederick Academy Coaches Show with uh, Brennan Derrick on the Bishop Media Sports Network. Um, you know, Coach, I, you know, I've had a couple times where I've had the honor of being on a championship team, you know, when I was growing up and whatever. I can say that, you know, I've never been on uh, a team that expected to win every single game we ever went to play 
where we didn't have a unified spirit, where we didn't have the expectation and, and really the demand from each other to win, no matter what. I mean, no matter what the score was, as long as there was time on the clock, we were going to win. And there were a lot of games where, you know, I can think about, I didn't know how it was going to happen, but we just believed it was going to happen. And that's kind of what I sense going into this season from our guys. And, and, I, and I think it has a lot to do with the leadership. I think it has a lot to do with the leadership of, of the kids out there on the field, from the seniors all the way down. Yeah, the seniors have been great. The, those four guys have, you know, like I said, at practice, if it's not exactly kind of the intensity I want, I usually say, hey, let's go get it fixed. And they, they, they do a great job. Those guys, they expect to win. The, those four demand it out of the others, and the others are, are going to turn right around and give it to them because they expect to win. They, they expect to go out there and, and win, even in their one-on-one -on -one battles in the individual when we do offense and defense you know they, they give each other a hard time and they work and they, and they battle really hard you know these guys over here they're, they're making all these goofy faces but they get after they get frustrated every now and then but they battle really hard and i enjoy it watching them go and compete and uh i've been excited i feel like they they feel like every friday night when we walk on the field they they have an opportunity to to win and uh you know, they just keep, they, they take everything that we say, they absorb it, and they're starting to see the results. And uh, right now, I'm excited. I mean, we, we've got 10 straight games. we got to stay healthy, and we just got to keep getting better every week, and I feel like big things can happen. Well, matching up offensively against uh, St. Andrew's defense, um, you know, I'm not asking you to give a game plan away by any means, but, um, but you know, Sometimes it, it seems like with certain defenses and certain talent you come up against, you really got to use your run in order to throw the ball, or you got to use your, your throwing ability in order to run the ball. So what do you see in size-wise up front out of uh, St. Andrews defensively that we're matching up against? <laughs> they better get ready to run because we're going to run from sideline to sideline a lot. And uh, we're going to throw the ball. And we're going to stretch the field. They have to defend the 53 yards from sideline to sideline. And um, right now, that's been our philosophy. They're big in the middle. Um, kind of remind me, back in the days when I, we played Richmond Hill, and Richmond Hill had big guys in the middle, and our goal was to run them sideline to sideline and then try to gas them in the middle. So I feel like it's kind of our game plan is to tire them down and let our athletes try to out-athlete them and be very tough on the edge. Now, uh, when we... When we face up with them from our defense perspective, um, I know you've mentioned several times I've talked to you uh, as we approached this Friday that uh, that St. Andrews is a much improved team. They've got they've got you know experience from last year. They've got some new guys, some new faces. Are they more of a speed offense or are they more of a Wisconsin kind of in your face, bring it on kind of offense? They're going to try to be that. Old style Oklahoma offense, run the dive option, run the midline, make it look like Air Force. Um, we're going to do a little bit of speed toss, things like that. Try to keep you off balance and utilize their perimeter a little bit. They're going to try to mash it up inside. And, uh, you know, I think our deep, our deep front, our front four, and our linebackers, are, they're, they're prepared to go in there. So they're going to try to beat us up physically, but I think it's a little bit different football team. Physically, we're okay. I think we're, we're pretty physical bunch. We like to get in there and get scrappy and hit people, and, and, and they enjoy it. Our kids, I mean, it, it was fun this morning. We, we went for an hour and a half. We had a great time. We got after it for an hour and a half, knocking it down and getting after it. The kids just, it's all wet and everything else, and they practiced hard, gave us a great effort, but then they took a shower and went to school, so they need to be, they need to be committed for their effort today. They've had a long work day, and most of them are here right now at the radio show, hanging out with us, so that's a great bunch of kids, and they go and they battle all the time. Well, Coach, it's always a pleasure to uh, get to talk to you here on Wednesday nights, and I'm going to look forward to seeing you from the press box here at home which we will be at home, by the way, this week for anybody who uh, is either a Frederica fan or just a football fan. And if you haven't come out to see the Frederica Academy Stadium, it's pretty neat. And uh, we're going to be under the Oaks here on Friday night. Uh, this Friday night for the opening 
day of football season. And uh, thank you all for joining us on the Frederick Academy Coaches Show with Coach Brandon Derrick on the Bishop Media Sports Network. Please, please consider coming out to Locos Grill and Pub uh, and joining us every Wednesday night until the football season's over, and hopefully that'll be deep into the playoffs all the way to the end. It's 7 o'clock here at Locos on the Brandon Derrick Coaches Show. And signing off, I'm John Wetzler. Thank you very much.